Hi, it's Karen from We Are Just Two Sisters. I just want to say Happy New Year and thank you so much for the well wishes as I am healing um, from open heart surgery and everything is looking good and I'm so excited to get back into my journal making and my crafts and I wanted to start with um, this little journal it's called the glimpse into spring and it's got um some little birds and nests and um already some birds are beginning to build their nests in my um eaves over my porch and but it's snowing today so <laughs> kind of strange weather but i look so forward to spring and I know I count down the days. Um, so I just wanted to get ahead of the game and um, show you this little spring journal. It's very um, uplifting and makes my heart sore. And um, it's just um, very sweet. So let's start by um, getting the measurements. It's five by five. And this is um, a little brown paper bag journal. My sister is very popular with her little brown bag journals. So I thought I'd give it a try. And it, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. And let's open it up and check it out. Beautiful little ribbon, greens, and we open it up and here's some little um, tags, cards that I made, wildflowers, and you can journal on the back of it. And here's another one, some pretty little flowers. I love wildflowers in the springtime and of course, any kind of flower. I have a lot of iris that um, pops up long about March, April. And it's just, it covers my whole front and side of my yard, and it's just beautiful. This is a fun little um, bag to store things. It says vintage. And this is a little bird nest. Number 72 and number 49. Maybe those are one of your lucky numbers. And they just fit right back down into this little bag. And it has a little tab here to open it up. This is a cute little um, tag, number two. Fits down into this little pocket with butterflies. This is a little handle that I thought was so cute. This is little buttons. You can journal on the back of it. And you just pull it up and pop those back down into it. And this is just a little card with a button on it made out of paper and tag board. And here's your little um, journaling spot with um, paper. I like the graph paper and the ledger paper gives you lines to, you know, jot down things for spring, maybe some gardening tips. And here's another little bag with some more little cards that can be journaled on the back of. Little bird. This is a little coin envelope it opens up and it has Velcro that keeps it down. 
This is a little card. You can put anything you'd like in these little envelopes and pockets. Maybe you have some things that you're thinking, where can I put these? Well, this is the perfect little journal to store all the um, cards and ephemera and even dried flowers would be pretty. And this just winds back up. And around. Here's another little um, a little pocket with a telephone. I don't know if you all remember the telephones where we used to have to dial to um, talk to anyone. This is nests and eggs. And you can journal on the back of these. And they go right back down into this little pocket. And here's a card, really pretty flowers that can be journaled on. And it goes right back down into this pocket. And the back is um, a little tuck pocket with a number seven, lucky number seven. So it's a very simple little journal and but it would come in so handy to just dot, jot down thoughts and um, maybe some thoughts that you have for springtime and hopes and so it's never too early to think of spring so thank you very much for taking your time to walk through this with me and may you have a beautiful rest of your winter and Look forward to springtime and the birds chirping and all that. <laughs> so thank you again for um, taking the time. And we love you guys and have a blessed um, rest of your week and an, a beautiful weekend. Thank you. Bye.